Ready for the big meeting?
how's it going people please take a minute and hop over on you know what i can do it on twitch too hold on let me do the, let me run the poll on twitch as well um All right, <clears throat> one second. Let me get some music. Definitely quiet in here. All right. How did I word the one second, guys? I'll welcome y'all. Leave this up. All right, so I have a poll going on over on Twitch and right here on YouTube. Basically, if you've been in Discord today, someone asked the question. Um, let's hop on into the other other chat here. And let me show you what I'm talking about. If some of you are a little confused on it, let me drag my Discord down. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about here. Um, let me drag this. Oh crap, I ain't showing anything. No, I'm in my Discord. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, top five leaderboard. Les, thank you so much, bud. Doing good, Rick Park. Um, we're just going to go over something here real quick. I got a couple polls going. I've got one on Twitch and one here on YouTube. If you want to look at that poll, cast your vote. Uh, this was brought up by Easy in Discord. All right. Um, for example, um, so here's Dale Boy. He has four out of the five common carps, for example. Um, here's R. Lewis has four out of the five purple labeos. Um, I'm sure there's somewhere where R. Lewis has every fish. There's three from R. Lewis on Northern Pike. There's mirror carp. All five are R. Lewis. So what we're saying, what was brought up in Discord um, is... Should we now? This would make it easier on those that are on Spain. Yeah, this would make it easier for those that are editing this sheet. Because I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you, I don't have time. I don't have time to do it. Not with my job and everything else going on, making videos, streaming, family time. It is a bear to keep this going. So what what has been suggested is. Like here, for example, Dale Boy, if we look at this common carp, would keep his 62.95 on there, but these other three would be taken off and it would have to be five different people for each fish. So you would just put on your biggest fish would, would be the only one that you submitted instead of having all five, like in some cases, like right here, R. Lewis, for example, would keep his 54.92 pound one on there the other four would be taken off for four other people four different people so every category would have five different people uh that that does make it easier on the editors of the sheet and each person that's getting ready to submit a top five submission would also have to look and see oh my other one's bigger than that one so i'm not going to submit it so it's less submissions makes everything a little easier that's why it was suggested. Also, it gives five different people a chance to get on the leaderboard instead of it being dominated by one one or two people. You know what I'm saying? So that's the poll, but you guys vote on it. 
and we'll go with whatever you guys say. Uh, I'm just the messenger here. Okay, let's welcome everybody in. Um, let's move that back up. Turn that off. And get the game going. While that's loading up, we'll welcome everybody in. Uh, so over on Twitch, we have less 86 and we had uh, thanks for the resub bud appreciate that and we have uh over on youtube we have cane break what is it about you? dad Keeps you coming all the way out here. uh g man Rick Park, how's it going, bud? But I am doing, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. All right, now dad says also it would be more fair for those people that cannot put in a crazy amount of time of hours in this game. It might only get one dime once in a while. That, including myself, I don't get, I play two or three hours a day and that's it. Um, but I do like the idea also of the amount of work that it eliminates. But... It's up to you guys. There's a there's a poll going right now if you want to click on it. And we make it to where you can only have your name once per fish, per map. So, for example, there wouldn't be any more of you having, like, all five being the same person. Uh, there would be five different people on every fish. Uh, that I think that would make it... Um, a lot less editing to do, but that's up to you guys. However, you guys want to do it. I'm doing great, Deer Slayer. How are you doing, bud? Bay, welcome in. I don't get why someone needs to have seven of the same fish. The idea is to see your biggest, therefore enter your biggest fish. Right. Right. I don't have every name in one particular list, but I definitely have multiple where I've got at least two. Right, right, Dad. So in those cases, you, you Dad's a psycho. You wouldn't have both of those. You just put your biggest one on there. And that, and that does make it less work on the editors. I originally put no, but I wish I had said yes. I think people should only have one in the top five per fish. You could, I think you can change it. You can click on it and change it, I think. You're doing good, Deer Slayer. All right, bud. Um, And it, and it gives more... It would be more fair, I think, Scarlet Angel as well. Uh, and like Dad said, some people are able to play this game for 12, 15 hours a day, you know, 8, 10 hours a day, whatever. Some of us, you know, like myself, can only play two or three hours a day. Um, and it, it makes it to where you have five different people on each fish. It gives more people a chance to get on the leaderboard. Um you know, so I do like that idea. I'm, I'm glad Easy brought it to my attention in Discord. I just wanted to put it to a vote and see. Right now, over on Twitch, um, looks like we should limit it to one person. And it's closer on YouTube. It's 60% in favor of limiting it to one person to 40% on those. So it's looking like we'll probably just limit it to one person one time one submission per fish now if you bait your biggest one obviously we're going to put your biggest fish in there you know that's 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 the thing so but if you know the fish that you've already submitted for that category is already bigger than the diamond you just caught then there's no point it saves you work having to take those screenshots and submit and it saves the editor's work of having to go through them all so it's looking like that's the way we're leaning. Uh, when the one ends on Twitch, I'll end the one on YouTube as well. But uh, I'm going to hop in mod chat. All right, I'm in there. Dad, if you want to hop in, any other mods? And we have Les, over on, Les and Mike over on Twitch here. I'm going to give you your 500 points. for modding. And there's 
that. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you. I'm here. Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Yeah. All right. Can we vote on a cut line to be added as a point redeem? No. No. No, no. No, 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 no. All right. Now, here we go. We have uh, somebody just asked something about would we have to resubmit all the fish? No. If they're already on the leaderboard, then you just take, you leave the top one on there. You eliminate, you eliminate the other ones. Yeah, that was Del Boy. He's the one that's been doing most of that. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, from here on out, it would just be replacing them with new the ones. next highest. Right. right. Newest ones. Yeah. Yeah, I I think it is more fair that each person's name is only there once. I, I, that does seem more fair. I mean, honestly, that's what I, because of the fact that most people can't play like some of us can. Right. You know? And right. I mean, I feel bad for those people that might only get like an hour and they get a good dime and that's it, you know, and then they get bumped off the board. Cause... Yeah, because somebody has five that's bigger than their one that they've been able. Yeah. Right. Exactly. And I'm one of those people. I only get to play two or three hours a day. That's it. Oh, I know. Heck yeah. Man. You know, look, I'd lose a lot of positions on there because of this, but I, I'm for it, honestly. Yeah, it is more I fair. I think. Idea. All right, we'll end the poll there. Uh, it won on both YouTube and Twitch. So, yeah. So we'll do that. Um, I mean, I don't care. That that part would be easy. I don't care to go through and delete everybody's smaller fish. I'll do that. Oh, no. That, that, no, that won't take five, ten here. minutes, you know? to do that just go through there and delete r lewis four times and we'll be <laughs> <laughs> yeah i just go through there deleting r lewis you know <laughs> no nah, del boy like i said del boy himself who also edits this and dad have multiple you know two three four in some cases uh but now you're just going to be on there once and i i think that's fair i think that's fair that sounds i do too that honestly. sounds good yeah yeah, we, we all have our days, like tomorrow, for example. All of a sudden, tomorrow got cleared up for me. Like, I don't have to leave the house tomorrow. So I'm planning on doing a longer stream tomorrow, and even when I'm not streaming, I pl I'm planning on playing a little more tomorrow than I normally do. You know what I mean? And we'll just need to... We'll just need to uh, put out there... Let's see. Let me actually. I'll just oh, do wait, that. Hey, yeah. Del Boy, take a screenshot before you do that. I want to remember my records. <laughs> <laughs> um, what we're going to do is I'm going to get in the. <laughs> I'm going to put a top five leaderboard. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> You may enter, I'm going to edit this real quick. You may enter. Yeah, one. from now on, it just pretty much has to beat your record or beat somebody else's right. record. And, you know, so you have the one fish on there. You may enter one fish. One, one submission per category per species one, one submission per species yeah I think that'd be fair for everybody though it'll get a lot more people's names on there yeah uh Hold on. Uh, 
and that will definitely save those guys a lot of time. Trying to edit that thing every other day. Make sure no fish bigger. Other get one. Well, it's got to be better than their personal best that's on the list, or better than whoever's on the top of the list. There we go. Well, if there's any questions, I'm sure there will. Will be. Oh, yeah. What is this 24-hour stream business? Where, what is this coming from? We're going to do a 12-hour stream when we hit 5,000, and we are at 49.16, so only 84 more. Uh, well, of course, that will have to be on a Saturday, you know, uh, the first Saturday that I can clear my schedule after we hit 5,000. All right, sounds good. 24-hour <laughs> stream. Try, I've only done that once. <laughs> okay, let's uh let me turn my multiplayer back on. I've been working on some videos and stuff today, so I always have to yeah, I have to turn multiplayer off when I'm working on uh videos and things because if I don't people just come over and oh, yeah, they get, in, yeah. get in my face and try to That's distract me. <laughs> <laughs> so I just end up turning multiplayer off when I'm doing editing stuff, but we fishing now, baby. All right, what are we going for? And who's who's got an early morning map? Dolan, let's I, I, pick I, something out to go for. Um, Six fifty a.m. on my map. What's an easy one out of the? Oh, I got to do the Moggle. I'm already set up for the Moggle. I hope you heard me. I got six fifty. Six fifty in the morning. In the morning, yeah. Okay, I'll I'll join on you. We're going we're going for a Moggle. Is it Mogul or Mogul? I think Mogul, but I don't know for sure. Dolan! Dolan, do you see what I put in? Like They said that they wanted to do like a team. Wait, am I set up for the Mogul? Seems like it's like a three or a four pound line, one or the other. I don't think it's very big. Okay, yeah, there it is. I had it, but I took it apart for videos. Uh, oh, cool. Doe. Doe and red worm. Okay. Okay. All right. And we're going to go down here. Yeah. Uh, so they get on there in Tackle Tuesday, and they're like, hey, we should do uh, teams. And uh, just for like something fun where we're kind of in between seasons right now. And I said, we should do teams and like each person gets their biggest two fish. Like maybe do spotted bass or something. Of course, Johnny wants to do spotted bass because he's caught like tw <laughs> 20 spotted bass. So, uh, you know, nobody else seemed to catch that. But yeah, uh, jo Johnny wants to do spotted bass. And so he's like... <laughs> Uh, okay. And so I just get on there and I'm like, okay, well, I'm, I got dibs on Doan <laughs> as my partner, you know, as on my team. And then of course, Dre talk comes immediately back with, Hey, I think it'd be a good idea if we do like a schoolyard pick out of the last two, uh, season champions, you know, <laughs> that way it splits me and Doan up, you know, <laughs> of course. <laughs> I'm just going to quit suggesting stuff in Tackle Tuesday. Cause I, I don't know that I've ever had an idea pass through that was accepted. So I'm just going to... I, actually, I think I'm just going to start saying the opposite of what I want in Tackle Tuesday. And then maybe I'll get what I want. How's it going, Fire Sky? Is trying to complete taking the spear... Oh, the, this one seems pretty big right off the bat. Uh, the, the spear mission, five or three hook for goad tiger fish. 
neither. Um, yeah. Three is three. I think you can still catch bronzes on a three, can't you? Yeah, you bronze on three. I think silver's two, maybe one, and then one out. I think is gold and stuff like that. I think. Yeah, I, you can still catch a bronze tiger fish on a three hook, bud. Yeah. Yeah, you definitely can do that. I mean, we have to do a spotted bass tackle Tuesday. Oh, do we? D do we, Johnny Crow? How many you got? Twenty something diamond uh, spotted bass now. Let's just do everything that Johnny Crowbro wants to do. Why don't we just do that? I'm sure it works for him. <laughs> yeah. Here, Moggle, Moggle. Here, Moggle, Moggle. Oops, what am I doing? There it is. 15, five yesterday, the day before the day. <laughs> Every one of us will be in that one lake in a boat. <laughs> That'd be the race. Well, you and your partner have to push the boat to the pond and then start fishing. Ooh. Hey, I like that idea, Johnny Crow. Did you hear that? No one, no one's allowed to have their boat in the pond. And you and your partner must push the boat and fish out of the same boat. Ooh, I like it. I like it. <laughs> Nothing I suggest ever even gets listened to, Johnny Crow. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> A real team comp. That's right. I could imagine the time starts. You've got two hours. Push your boats. Yeah. And right. You got to do the boat push in the two hours. We could all be in our boats facing the bank or whatever. And then three, two, one. Then everybody just hammers down. And <laughs> I launch mine up the bank as far as I can. Then get out and start pushing it. There's like one little spot though, man, over on the right. <clears throat> if you push your boat over there, it like it, it gets stuck and don't want to budge. Yeah. <clears throat> like there's some kind of a bump or a hill that you run into. Yeah. You gotta keep it in the smooth stuff. Learn that the hard way. Yeah, I still haven't done it. I did it that one time halfway up there and I was like, I was done. I will eventually though. The guardrail is definitely in the way. <laughs> yeah, but like once you cross the road and start up that next little embankment, like over to the right, there's like some brushy stuff. You don't want to get in that. If you get in that side where the brush and stuff is over there, it doesn't end well. <laughs> Thank you so much, Rick Park. I appreciate you, bud. Did you add that friend request I sent on Discord? No, I did not. Did it once yesterday, got my dime and bounce. Watch Johnny get two dimes. That's me. I caught one diamond and then I'm I'm not that person. Like I catch that one diamond and then I'm out. You know, off to get the next dime. Like, I don't know. I just can't. I catch the one and I'm done. Too much of a variety guy. But speaking of, um, there's a video getting ready to come out about this uh, tomorrow with my ideas on what they need to add to the souvenir shop to increase the replay value on this game. Now that is in Discord game suggestions right now. Uh, if you want to click the link, I linked it in Discord. But uh, basically, just like we talked about, if you go to the local souvenir shop on each map, what I would like to see is like, we could do four seasons a year, January to March 31st, you know, the quarters. And 
that could even be, it could be the same outfit in all four reserves, as far as I'm concerned. Like, we could say the first season is gold plated mossy oak camo. And each article of clothing or pole, the most coveted items would be gloves, reel, and rod, because that's what you see the most. So let's say it's mossy oak gold plated camo. And it's a whole outfit for, for this season, for example. And the season runs by quarters. And so each season, they would the design team would have to come up with a whole new outfit. Boat skins, Jeep skins, rod and reel skins, whole outfits, shorts, shirts, hats, gloves, all that stuff. Well, you get to see it in the local souvenir shop on each map. But it's locked. You can't buy it. You have to achieve something in the game to unlock it. So what it would be, for example, is like, say the mossy oak gold plated gloves are only unlocked when you catch a 10 pound largemouth bass or above. Okay. And, and then maybe the reel is unlocked when you catch a 70, 75 pound catfish or above, African sharp tooth catfish or above. You see what I'm saying with this? You take a, a fish and you have to catch a certain size fish to unlock that item in the shop. And so your ultimate goal is to end up with the whole outfit. So we look over across the bank, right? And we see Dolan or R. Lewis or Dad's a Psycho or somebody wearing the whole outfit. And you're like, oh man, he's caught all those big fish. He has the complete set on. It's just a little bling to add to the game. And it's replay value for players that get out there and catch all the diamonds and are now wondering what do I do now. It gives you something to grind for. You have, you can see it in the souvenir shop, but it's kind of grayed out or it has a lock on it. And you mouse over it and it says unlocked by catching 10 pound largemouth. Unlock, or, or then you go to the boots. Unlocked by catching, I don't know, I mean, insert whatever fish, 35 pound uh, camiso barbel or, you know, whatever we deem to be that prestigious weight per fish. Um, that's how you unlock those items of clothing. They're earned, they're not bought. You have to achieve them in the game. I think that right there would put the replay value of this game off the charts. Yeah, I like that idea a lot. Now, I would rather it be in-game tournaments. Like you go down and you click on tournaments and there's largemouth, spotted bass, whatever fish. And if you win that tournament, then you unlock that item of clothing. But I didn't code this game, didn't develop this game. So I don't know if it's possible to add in game tournaments or not. If it's not, then you can do it like I just said. It's just an article in the souvenir shop and you unlock it by catching a certain size fish. Each article of clothing. Not just clothing, but Jeep skins, boat skins, um, rods, you know, nothing that gives you an in game advantage, okay? Because Destiny 2 was ruined with that, in my opinion. You had players out there that would go to the lighthouse or whatever and get guns that nobody else could get. And so you had players who were already better than the other players with even better guns, which made them even better than the other players. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> you don't want to like ruin the game by giving somebody like the best pole in the game and give them an even more unfair advantage. This is just bling, just bragging rights, cosmetic stuff. You know, you see somebody over there in a boat and you're like, oh man, how do you get that boat? And then you look and you're like, oh, they caught a 70 pound common carp. That's how they got that boat. Well, I want that boat. And so what do you do? It forces you to go out and grind and fish for this fish and that fish. It basically promotes the fishing of um, that you fish for every fish in the game so that you get something out of it. And you get a special reward for catching a really big fish of that species. 
And I'm getting these ideas. I'm not going to lie. I'm getting these ideas from Call of Duty. They used to do that stuff. They would tie little achievements to things that you could unlock in the game. Yeah, like you could even do like that right there is a good idea, G-Man. Like catch 15 dimes of a single fish, you know, and you unlock this or you unlock that. Those little things right there keep people playing the game. Well, yeah. Johnny's in then. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> Golden mustache get 125 gold tokens at a single at a single time. Single map. Oh, he's saying you got to have 125 on you. Like, I got you. Oh, between all the maps added together? No, like, I've earned probably 500 gold tokens, right? So, but you got to have 125 on you to buy it. I think is what well, I, I don't know. I got it covered. <laughs> yeah. But little things like that is where replay value comes in. Because I can go ahead and tell you, thank you, Dale Boy. I can go ahead and tell you, when it gets to the point to where I've caught all the diamonds, that's a nice looking fish right there. When it gets to that point, I'm going to be wondering, what am I going to do next? You know, I'll probably start playing the hunter a little bit. But if I have something like that, that's going to keep me grounded. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's a good looking. This is a good looking fish right here. Unless it's a grass. This might be a grass carp. Oh, you're in that catfish lake, aren't you? Yeah. You think this is a grass carp? I think it's a grass carp. Yeah, definitely a grass carp. I'm just going to go ahead and cut the line on that. You know what? I know where I'm going to go. Go back to this little pond. Right here where Dad's a psycho's at. Yeah. I'm over here because it's one of my daily challenges. I figured I'd come catch these because I haven't done it at all today. Oh, and Bay, I'm glad you asked that too. I think that there should be every 10 levels. You know, at 110 you get at least a, at least a vehicle skin. Like at 110, oh. you get a boat skin. At 120, you get a Jeep skin. 130, boat skin. 140, you know, just keep unlocking little things like that. Uh, a little yeah. in, a little incentive to keep playing, you know, to right. keep leveling. I mean, what's the point of getting up to 200 if there's nothing between 100 and 200? Right. That really bummed me out when I heard about that. I, I was like, wow, very shocked. I have a PhD in grass carp, G-Man says. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I caught me another one of those today. Not a very big one, but another one. Yeah, that I saw it. Other. When I first saw it, I was like, man, this is a good looking mogul. And I was like, no, that one ate, <laughs> that one ate your mogul. That was a grass carp. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm going to have a video further explaining the details of what we just talked about coming out tomorrow. I would love it if you guys could share it, spread it, word of mouth. I have a thread in Discord. If you all could go in there and upvote that. And let's let it get some traction and maybe they'll consider adding something like that to the game. That would be great. Yeah, I went in there and checked it right away. Yeah, it's... Let me show you guys where it's at so you'll know what it looks like and know where to go. If you, Of course, if you agree with it, you may think it's a stupid idea. In that case, don't, don't worry about it. But uh, like right here, when you go to the official angler discord, uh, let's see, where's it at? Is it up here? No. Gotta watch what I click on. Uh, oh. Game suggestions right here. I've got it in here now. Um, what's it called? How do I find it? In game. Yeah, G man, right there. 55, 55. Right here it is. If you type in the word in, it's this one right here. 
in-game rewards for certain achievements. So if you start typing the word in, like in-game rewards for certain achievements, and you hit that right there, I actually took a boat off. Uh, if you click on that, the more that that gets upvoted, the more they may consider it. And so I've just got written in there. You know, you can also comment on it. Here's one that says sets of special rewards unlocked by catching specific fish for each map and season. I'm absolutely in. You know what I mean? So I just, if you want to find that, upvote that. Let's make them look at it. Make them consider it. Um, now, my, ultimately, I would love for this to be done through tournaments. Win the tournament and you unlock that gear. But there might be some reason that we don't know about that they can't add tournaments to the game for some reason. I don't know. I would even be down if if it was just a rotational tournament. Like this week, you can participate in these three different tournaments. And if you win it, you get such and such gear. And then next week, there's three other fish, you know, per map or whatever. But if it's not possible for whatever reason, then you could just do it the way we were talking about and just hide it behind a certain size fish and locks it. Either way, I think would be a win for the game. Uh, yeah, anything like that is going to make the game better. Yeah. I mean. So you level, just don't show you've played for a while. Hmm. Interesting idea, Bay. But for me, it's like, hmm. Let me think of a fish I just hate fishing for. Bream. Yeah, we'll just say bream. Although I got very lucky with my bream. But let's say yeah. bream. Let's say I hate fishing for bream. I'm not going to go out and catch another bream diamond unless I have a reason to. Now, let's say that there is a special pair of boots that I can't get that goes along with this outfit that we're talking about for this season. And like everything is like a mossy oak gold plated camo theme. And there's the boots. And it's the only thing I need to complete the set, right? Well, because I want those boots so bad, I'm gonna suck it up and go fish for that bream try to catch you know what i'm saying it's yeah. it's gonna make you want to go and fish for everything and try to catch a bigger diamond of each species because you're unlocking and uh, uh something for doing it you're earning it things that you can just go and buy out of the souvenir shop are not as special to you as things that you unlock by achieving something difficult in the game right and I hate bream too, but, you know, <laughs> give me a reason to go fish for them. How come I feel like I caught the only mogul that's in this lake? Yeah, I'm kind of feeling that way myself right now. I can't get a bite either. But you know what, Mike? I got to thinking about that too. What you also don't want to tie, let's say you don't want to tie the boots to a particular fish that someone absolutely hates, and that's the only way they can get those boots. That's why I was saying you could put this outfit on every map in the local souvenir shop. On GRR, you have to, you could also get the boots on GRR by catching a muskie of a certain size. Or you can go to Troll Sport and catch the bream of a certain size to get the boots. Or you can go to Spain and catch a certain size mirror carp to get the boots. Or you see what I'm saying? There would be four different options in case there is a fish you absolutely hate fishing for. You see what I'm saying? I think that would be a good solution. And then after that first season is over, then the design team comes out and shows off. You know, Jaxie goes on his stream on Wednesday, on Tackle Tuesday, or not Tackle Tuesday, sorry. 
on his tackle box stream on Wednesdays, and he shows off this is this season's new outfit. And it's, I don't know, like it's got some red camo, some funky red camo design on it. And it shows every piece, you know, the, here's the Jeep skin, here's the boat skin, here's the rod, here's the reel, here's the boots, here's the, you know, um, each season. So you've got basically three months to achieve every article of clothing that goes along with that theme. Or not not just clothing, cosmetics with because we're saying Jeep skins, boat skins, rod, rod and reel skins. Each season, you would have a whole new grind starting over to start unlocking all that stuff from the souvenir shop by going out and catching those big fish. Somebody just caught a diamond something, common carp. Let's see where they caught it at. Japan, Japanese something. It wasn't there. Was it the rave cave? Yep. Japanese trick in the rave cave. Glad everybody's having fun catching mogul, but me, I've caught my one that's in my population in this lake. <laughs> The only issue with in-game tournaments is some wise guy will be able to create mods or cheats exactly like they were able to with Call of Duty. Well, here's here's my thing with the in-game tournaments too, and I've had I've had a lot of people throw shade on that idea too, Barry. Is but you can still play the game like this. You don't have to click on that tournament button. If you don't want to play the tournaments, then you don't click on it. See what I'm saying? Right, G-Man, right. As long as it's kept fair and people aren't able to mod, that's why they don't want to give people control of the servers. So so they can't be modding, modding their stuff. But you, there's, a, there's that magic word or. Either win the largemouth bass tournament or catch a 10-pound bass and you unlock this clothing. And then that gives you options. You, you, if you don't want to play the tournaments, then you just go out and fish like you normally do. Yeah, they could put a lot of different options in like that, you know, get right. X amount of diamonds of a particular fish or whatever. Exactly. We could, even, yep, you could do it that way. You could just, uh, if you don't want to do biggest, then maybe you just say, okay, if you catch 10 diamonds of this fish you unlock this item you know there's all kinds of little things like that that add replay value to the game Work. yeah and they need to do something like that because i mean there's a few of us out there that did the rep and did the you know bingo already so we're just kind of going for bigger fish but we will get bored eventually that's <laughs> say i'm already seeing that for myself like i know how i am and if I don't have something to grind for when I get all these diamonds, you know, I'm going to need something, some incentive to keep me going. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, your, your top five list, it's been one of those things for me. Right, Seriously. right, right. I mean, I'm hoping that's something that'll give me a little something to do. But what happens if you reach a point where you're you got a fish in all the top five and I don't know. It's, uh, well, hopefully by then there's another map. <laughs> we all be, right, right. I hope you know. I thought about that too. Maybe we start doing some type of little week or own little weekly tournament thing or weekly challenge thing or something. We're well, like we're, we're going to need person. yeah something like a king of the catch thing or something. I, I don't know. Am I fishing with the wrong? Hold on a second. Number six doe or five red worm. I had the wrong. I was wondering why I couldn't see my floater. Uh, you got a bottom? Yeah, I had the oh, Cetro Del Rey out there. <laughs> I have done that, man. I have really done that. 
I don't know if you can do it in both of these little lakes, but I wasn't catching anything in the one that you can. And I saw one swimming around here, so I figured I'd cast a few over here and see. I bet you can catch them in both. Yeah, you can definitely catch the moguls in both. I don't know about dimes, though. I've, I've only heard this size for dimes. I don't know. Bay, yeah. Uh, most of the people I play with here actually in this stream oh, are okay, on yeah. console. Like uh, Dad, who's in here with me, is on console. Uh, you just have to be friends on Apex, and then you can join on each other. It doesn't matter if you're console or PC. It's cross-play. Yeah, that's a great feature for this game. Glad they have that. Uh, Bay, I think they will. And that's just picking up on, like, Sometimes Jaxie starts talking about when people start making all these suggestions of things that they want would like to see added to the game. <laughs> Guilty. Um, when he talks about that, he'll say, well, we got to look at priority. You know, what do people want the most? And that's what you got to work on. And I've heard him say things like in the tackle box streams, like people really want a trophy lodge. People really want... Um, rod holders people you know blah 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 so it leads me to believe they're looking at making some sort of trophy lodge slash aquarium or something it i would be shocked if the next dlc that comes out now that we have four maps i would be shocked if the next thing that comes out isn't some type of trophy lodge or aquarium or something Now, I like the way, I don't know if any of y'all ever played the game Real Fishing. I played it in college on PlayStation 2. And back then, it was awesome graphics, you know, for what we had. Back then. But there was a little, yeah. there was a little aquarium that you kept your fish in, your biggest fish, right? And then there's Bob. What's up, bud? You could feed the fish. Like you could put a little thing of, like you could focus on a fish and feed it and it would swim over closer to the glass so that you could get a good look out of it. Nick. Like it was eating what you fed it. A little thing like that added to this game. Could you imagine there's Big Larry swimming around your, and you drop in some little pellets or something and Big Larry comes over and lets you have a big close look. Um, that would be awesome if we had some type of aquarium or something to put our fish in. Yeah, G-Man, yeah, I think what they're going to have to do, because they own the servers, they they control the servers here, I think what they would have to do, if any of you ever played like World of Warcraft or anything, they'd have to put like some type of instance in to where you walk in and it's um, like your own little world there. And you walk in, and I would imagine, that because you're going to have fish that require like a stream, like your trouts and fish that, that require like a, a stream, you know, turbulent water. And then you're going to have your fish that require more of a little pond, calm water style. So I would imagine there will be like different environments if they do the aquarium. They may just do... Because here's the thing, some people, everybody likes to complain. <laughs> so some people have been like, well, you can't do an aquarium. It's catch and release. It's a game. It's a, exactly. It's a game. There's that. <laughs> uh, so, but for whatever reason, if you want to be like, oh, that's right. It's catch and release. We can't do an aquarium. So if that's the route you want to go and you really w would rather just have a lodge. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but in taxidermy, I used to study it a little bit and thought about actually going into taxidermy um, with a deer and then I gave it up. But I've talked to the guy that does fish and stuff. They are replicas anyway. Right. There's no part of that fish that's real. On a deer, like I've got two deer and a coyote mounted on my wall. 
the deer, the only thing that's real on a deer mount, on taxidermy, the only thing that's real is the fur. That's it. Everything under it is fun. It's a foam mannequin. The eyes are fake. The ear inserts are plastic. That's it. The fur and the antlers, you know, that yeah. that's the only thing. The eyes are even fake. They paint shiny stuff on the eyes to make them look real. It's all fake. Except for the hide and the antlers. The fish, all of it's fake. Every bit of the fish is fake. What they do is they take a measurement of your fish. And so you could do that with a photograph, actually. You take measurements, how round the fish is, how long it is. And then the taxidermist makes a replica fish with those measurements you gave them. And paints it and makes it look real. That's it. But the number one answer is what you said, Dad. It's a game. <laughs> that always blew me away when, when somebody has that argument. I mean, it is just a game. Right. I mean, if you choose to do that in real life, that's different. But yeah, this is a game. I'm glad this isn't realistic because I suck at fishing in real life. I don't want to come out here and play for two hours and not <laughs> catch anything. <laughs> <laughs> And these things are being stubborn today. What is wow. this? What is this fish? A kerper comes over and bites. I was say blue kerper. There's blue kerper in here. I've caught a couple of them already. How big is this blue kerper? Well, they're most average silver is like mid three pound. Oh. Okay. I was thinking like. Like the, um, what is it? The, uh, bluegill, Red the bluegill, like yeah. if you, if a bluegill bites on a six, it's a dime. Right. <laughs> so when I had the six on there in that carper bit, I was like, oh my. Cause yeah. the carper reminds me of a bluegill a little bit. Congratulations on Alejandro Magno. <laughs> Your Mogul dime was caught with four dough. This is another carper. I'm just wanting a gold to get this gear challenge. What are you guys using for bait? Oh, I've been rotating. <laughs> I've got a minnow on here right now. <laughs> it's like last on the list. And I just tried a spinner. Went through the dough and the red worm already. Not really getting much on any of it. I was about to get corn and start going the bottom. Y'all ready for the NCAA Final Four? What rod is that you're using? I haven't seen that one before. Uh, Warwolf, you asked that question a while ago and I meant to get around to it. I'm sorry, bud. Uh, this is the African rod. It's the one that you get from doing uh, one of the missions on South Africa. And let me give you points, uh, Warwolf, for modding for me today, bud. go I uh, I mean common sense for those that have that I hear it's a good thing tells you <laughs> that Yukon and Purdue will be in the championship game however I have to root for an NC state because Burns looks like me you know, 
Burns is like me. He's not a McDonald's All-American, but he eats at McDonald's. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I have a soft spot <laughs> for Burns and NC State. Plus, I always root for the top seeds. I'm also for Alabama. First team since Billy Donovan's Florida teams. Uh, who Kentucky should be recruiting, in my opinion, is Billy Donovan to replace Calipari after next year because I also read that Calipari is not firing any of his coaches after he said he was going to make some changes. Whoever the defensive coach was for Kentucky this past year needs fired, whoever that was. I'm not an Alabama person either, but they happen to be the uh, lower seed, and once Kentucky gets beat out, you know, upset, upset city for me, bud. Yeah, I like that too. Doe, red worm, corn. Minnow. Okay, did I put minnow on? I did a minute ago, and I didn't get a bite, but... Our populations are different, so who knows? You might get one. Yeah. I got corn on the bottom right now, just to see. Well, I have to use the float fishing rig. Yeah, you, that's right. You're doing the challenge. What mission is it for South Africa? Uh... That gets you the float. That gets you the real. I think it's rise with the sun. I think you need to do all four of the. Well, cooking with gas gets you the float because you find the float in a box. That one gets you. It's one of those two. You would think it would be taking the spear, actually, because it's named that, you know? How do I keep these carper from you? I don't know. Until today, I never caught carper in here. I mean, I've seen people do it, but back when I was doing my challenge and trying to get my dime, I didn't get any carper to bite. Now, they're always biting. Maybe if I go to a five hook, that will eliminate all these little silver carper that's running around here. <laughs> There's four of us in this pond right now. And you all are catching moguls and I don't understand. I'm not anymore. They are. I can't get it. Anything but Kerper to bite at the moment. So I'm not sure exactly War Wolf. There's four main missions, so it's one of those. I know it's not. It's a snap. That just gives you... So all three of these. Cooking with the gas gives you the float. I would imagine taking the spear, but... you. Andy's gift is the real. I do know that. And it tells you to use the real... So I almost think it's rise with the sun then. Well, I mean, if you do them in order. All right, Lewis, they... I'm glad you're in here. I don't know if you heard at the beginning of the stream, you're probably going to be wondering why a bunch of your fish got removed from the top five leaderboard and it wasn't nothing that you did wrong. Uh, what we, we took a vote in here earlier. What we're going to do is to allow more people to have a spot in the top five. We're going to limit each person to one. Their name can only be on uh, each species once. So it's just going to be like your name is only going to be there one time per fish. You know what I'm saying? That's for everybody. Um, that way we don't have one person that has all five fish. Uh, <laughs> gee, man, R. Lewis is down for everyone else's success. No, it's just... Uh, <laughs> That was brought up. We took a vote on it earlier. And so that's why some of your fish aren't there anymore on the leaderboard. So when you submit them going forward, look at the one that you have on the leaderboard and make sure that it's bigger. Um, 
if it's not bigger than the one you've already got submitted, then just post or bigger it. Bigger than somebody else's. Or, well, I mean, but you could be in third place and have one. That's well, yeah, 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 right. And it'll bump them, but yours will come off your lower one. Right. I can't. I caught. Have I, have I just caught one mogul here? Right there's one. Why won't it buy? I just put Redworm back on, and I finally got my ninth one for my challenge. Starting to look like I wasn't going to get it there for a minute. Yeah. I just want to get this challenge done. Just give me a gold. Give me a small gold. That's all I want. Well, I tell you what. Yeah, I am, Gene. I got my challenge complete. Y'all have fun with that. I'm going back to that little uh, dinosaur pond. Did you get it? Get what? The challenge complete. Oh, the daily challenge. I got everything else done. Oh, that's so right. You got a thousand rip. What are you going yeah, to fish for at the dinosaur pond? A canary Kerber? Canary Kerber and Redbreast. From what I hear, you get diamonds like crazy in there and when you started your stream, I had literally just gone over there and started the fish, but I forgot about the mogul I had to get for the daily challenge. Dale boy, I'm going back to when Africa map came out. So top five will change a little and people who was previously bumped will get back on the leaderboard. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you want to do that. Yeah, you can. Just so that we get it filled up some. Because it's probably looking a little vacant now. Imp Panther. Or I'm Panther. <laughs> uh, I'm Panther. I can't read. Welcome in. Thanks. Words be hard. Man, I just can't catch them here. Isn't that crazy? They're just not here, man. Well, when I was going for my dime, oh my God, I was catching so many gold, this, that, and the other, and I got my dime, and then I went back to do the challenge, and ever since then, it's like all the fish are scarce in that pond now. Here's Stevie. Stevie B just hauling them in. What color socks is he wearing? <laughs> Englishing be hard. Why yeah. might English not be Englishing? <laughs> but I'm seeing them, so they have to be a smaller hook then. Maybe I catch the small ones and they spawn in. Let's go to a seven. Uh, what? Seven. Well, a, a six is bronze, I believe. I know. Yeah, six is bronze. I know. Oh, they don't back that. I'm going to put a minnow on. Yeah, minnow's on the list. I mean, it's last, but it's there. But if I catch a few of these, maybe some silver spawning, and then I catch a few of them and some... And hopefully it works out. If I get another blue curper... Carver, thanks so much for the follow and doing that karate in the garage. Appreciate you. What is this coming over here? Well, there's a mogul. Top five is top five. I mean, I don't really get it. Sorry you feel that way, R. Lewis. I mean, we took a vote on it, but... It gives five different people a chance to get on the leaderboard per fish. Hope there's no hard feelings. A 
I've been fishing all day and didn't catch anything. No, you have those bad days sometimes. There's another mogul. Okay, okay. A creek chub. Oh, well, one of the points our list that we talked about and dad was in here, we were all discussing it. Some of us have more time to play than others. And it just gives everybody a chance to get on the leaderboard. And so you put your biggest fish on there. And we won't have anybody that has five of the biggest fish or four. You get one. You take your biggest one and put it on there if you want to. Lots of hours into these those catches. Well, R. Lewis, um, I really didn't think you would get upset about this. Sorry. It is what it is. Yes, I'm putting hot dog out of my office. I'm not having any luck with blood wine. It's, it's still morning-ish. That's like dad as well had some fish that he had three or four on the list of he lost some of them and and dale boy too dale boy was also there was there was one in particular he had four of the top five on there and after discussing it and putting it to a vote at the beginning of the stream um everybody felt even those that had multiples on there felt that it was more fair to have five different people per fish because you can still each person can still have their biggest one up there but if it's going to cause issues we can just do away with it altogether i don't want to cause arguments oh, i think it's stuff. fine doing it that way because i mean i mean don't i don't like giving up those spots either but like I said, I mean, there's so many people that just can't play as much as some of us can, you know, and, yeah. and they don't even get a chance to get on there because they can't put in that time to grind until they get a 70 pound, whatever, you know, this is the issue of doing these things or challenges might say, yeah, I know it's, it just seems like there's always somebody that gets mad, you know, I didn't want to do the top five to begin with because of stuff like this, but. I love it. It gives me something to go for. And I mean, I look at it like this, whatever fish I put up there, everybody knows that's my best one, you know? So I've caught a ridiculous amount of diamonds that can't go on that list because they're too small. <laughs> yeah. And I usually post those in your fishing trophies thing, you know, right. I'll put them in there just to say, look, I caught it, but it ain't on the list, you know? Yeah, I don't mind it. I think that's a good idea, honestly. I'll sleep okay tonight. Yeah, I just, I mean, I don't, like I said, I just feel bad for people that, you know, can't grind. They don't have the time to grind like that. Because, I mean, you do have to grind for some of these fish. <laughs> you really do have to grind for them. Oh, yeah, I know. I mean, that bream was a good example. I got a silver. Did you? Yes. So I see, I think it worked. I think catching those bronzes caused some silvers to spawn in. And now maybe after catching the silver, maybe a gold will spawn in. And what are you talking about? I forgot I caught a creek chub. 
Rock Chalk, you caught a diamond mogul. I hate you. I mean, congratulations. <laughs> oh yeah me too g man Cut. i didn't even start posting anything until probably sometime around christmas i forget half the time to take I, i've still got some i've not these latest diamonds i've caught i don't think i've submitted any of them <laughs> yeah i noticed that i, I just can't remember <laughs> you do take the screenshots though huh yeah i mean technically i mean it's my top five i don't i could just go on in there and type it in myself if i could just remember i just can't remember who caught a diamond look here at stevie b you have to spill the beans bud like how did you, what, what was you using? And how come I only have, time? how come I only have like three mogul in my whole population? If I see you catch them. I add them to the top five. Thank you so much, Dale boy. I appreciate it. Because I will forget. <laughs> it's a shame. It's my top five and I can't even remember to put my own fish in there. <clears throat> but the top five thing is just something to give you something to do. You know? Like, yeah. it's just something friendly. There's no prize for it you know and it gives somebody it gives the community something to be a part of you know it gives and by limiting it to one person one entry per fish allows for more people to be a part of it it's more fair right i think it's more fair and it it well, gives that's, that's the thing more people get involved more people you know? get involved and that is the point so i didn't mean to step on any toes and that's also why i didn't make an executive decision and say okay we're doing it i put two poles out i put one pole on twitch i put one pole on youtube y'all saw it it won so we put it to yeah. a vote it passed you know. And it would have passed even further because a couple people didn't realize what you meant. They voted wrong, you know. They... But I see you. Come back. They got grass carp in here. <laughs> don't you feel bad? Well, I don't hurt anybody's feelings, you know. Except yours. Yeah, I mean, you know. I mean, it's a game. It's supposed to be fun for everybody. Enjoy it. Is that a mogul? Nope. Or is it? No, that's Carper. It's a free 99 friendly competition. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> like them free 99s. Free dollars and free cents. I got my dime mogul. Uh oh. Oh, it's a gold. Okay, never mind. I, only I have thought I had seen a dime them get oh, caught there at night. <laughs> oh yeah, you're probably right. I just want to catch a gold, and golds will buy at any temperature or whatever. It's like I always come back to the musky spot at the dam. <laughs> On um, yeah. Golden Ridge, you can catch gold musky galore there, but you can't catch a dime. As long as I can get a gold here, 
that's all I care, you know? That was a bummer, too, because I wasted a lot of time at that dam thinking I was going to get a dime because all the golds I kept catching <laughs> way back when I started playing. He caught it on five, five red worm. Well, I have dropped way down to a seven hook just to try to get some of these spawning in. Catch some of these little ones and get them to spawn in bigger. You know? And so I can't put a red worm on. The only thing I can put on a seven hook right now is a minnow. Oh, that's right. Doe six. I know. Six is the minimum. See, I had to drop down and catch some of those smaller ones. And you got another silver. Was uh, Stevie right next to you when he caught that dime or what? Standing right beside me, as usual. G man, I am having a rough time at this pond right now. <laughs> I did get a gold red breast, but that was it. Where are you fishing at? We're fishing at the what's this called? Cradle of Life or something? Yeah. Oh, Stevie pulled over here to show me up now. <laughs> He's going to come catch a dime right next to me now. There's that... Uh... discord link that takes you to my topic there to improve the replay value of the game with the end game achievements and stuff oh canary you want to click on that and hit the thumbs up button if you agree with it Is a good sharp tooth catfish spot. My favorite spot is right here. This second yeah. spot right there. 76 pound dime to prove it. Yep. And I got that gold gear challenge done right there, too. I caught a 72 pound catfish. Yes. Was it yesterday or this morning? One of the two. Yeah. My biggest yet. Uni! How's Uni doing? Thank you so much for the resub. Over on Twitch. Appreciate that. That's another goal. It's a good sign. Doing all right, my friend. Busy life, but slowly getting settled in the Netherlands. Oh, that's right. You moved. But the biggest question is, is the internet good there? You know? Who 
But good to see you again. Now you're originally from Spain, right? Are you from Spain or you just lived in Spain? How lived, close to Diamond was I, G-Man? Lived in Spain for seven years, but originally from the Netherlands. Oh, okay. Having the same issues with the red and purple nose. Oh, yeah. The Labeo. What, the gold challenges he's talking about? I got the gold challenge purple. I haven't even tried the red nose because I dread it. Honestly, it's not that bad. I, I think the purple's a lot harder as far as I'm concerned. There's a few places you can go for the red that are like, you get big time dimes oh, and okay. get a lot of gold there too. So. Isn't that one a bottom rig? Uh, yeah, I believe so. Cuddly Parasite, how's it going? Welcome in. Good to see you. Are you serious, G-Man? What? I was 0. 0.2 or 0. 0.3 off a dime with that gold one. <laughs> Man, That's my luck. Japanese trick, I bet, is in the rave cave again. Yep. He's caught two nice diamonds out of the rave cave now. I'm about ready to give up on this mogul and go for something else. I'm telling you, I really think my theory works. Fish for something for a little while, come back, and you'll have a gold. We'll give the respawns a chance to... I'm telling I don't know if it's true or not, man, but it just seemed like it was, because a lot of those gold gear challenges I did that with and fought like you're fighting right now. What's up, James Payne? I am doing a lot better. I didn't get to work on my uh, deer blind today like I wanted to, but it's just nasty weather, man. It's rained most of this break, and the only reason I got done what I did is because we packed everything inside my garage and I could work when it was raining. I feel bad for you. We're at the bottom of that front that came through, man, and it's been gorgeous weather here the last couple of days. Yeah, I just hate it because I at least wanted to get the floor up on the hill and leveled to where then I could at least go up and just build it, you know, a little bit at a time in the evenings or something. Where I live, it has rained all week straight. We might be in the same front then, G-Man. I'm in Kentucky. Where are you at? It's been like 40 degrees and rainy. Yuck. Yeah. The first half of my spring break, like Monday through Wednesday, was pretty good. And we worked outside and tore it down, you know, but I, as I tore it down, I had to replace rotten lumber. So we, you know, there was a lot of tearing this board out and then jerking the nails out of it so that I could reuse that piece of lumber. You know, it would have been a lot quicker and probably already done had I just started from scratch, but I saved a lot of money reusing the good wood. Yeah. You know? A lot of money. Yes. <laughs> Like, I'd have spent over $1,000 on this if I hadn't reused the wood. Oh, you're in Pennsylvania? Yeah, we've been getting the same weather. Yeah. Six.
RK got Alejandro Magno earlier, also with the number two pauper. Nice. What's up, Jerry Collis? How you doing, bud? What's another one I could do? Let's look at these. Go do the red, uh, the red nose, man. I, I tell you right where to go. It, it's a good spot. I mean, I can't guarantee you gold, but it's three point three one pound line. So all I have to do is go. Okay. Where are we going to? The dock that you can fast travel yeah, to? Freaky's place. Freaky, well, freaky. To Freaky's place. Or right up river from there. There's That's the really good spot, I think. I'll show it to you. I can drive over there. I'm, well, take a boat over there anyways. This is where I caught my uh, red nose, my first red nose, Lebeo dime, and so did a few other people. It's a known diamond spot, so you might already have a mark on your map for it. What I need to use eggs? Yeah, six. Well, no, you keep, you're uh, bottom fishing for that, so I think it's a. Uh, I can use eggs. Red, I think red worm is the most popular for that, but I can't remember for sure. You can use the eggs on the bottom. Yeah, you can. It's just that I think the. But to, uh, I'm just saying to keep other things from biting in this area. Yeah. Eggs. Yeah. What size do I need to use? Uh, six, I think, is your max for egg. Well, I know, but... I mean, if you use anything else, five is a good one to go. I mean, that's a uh, silver hook, I believe, for them. Five is silver? That's what I was talking about. I believe so. Oh, but that's why I use oh, six is as big as I can go for eggs. That's what you're saying. Right. But that keeps the other junk off from me. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I was using a six bottom with egg over here where I'm just going to drive over here and you can just put a mark if you wanted to try this place later too. Are you there right now? No, I'm about halfway and I'm going up river right now. So it's a slow go. That yeah, see that right to the west of that island right there. You see that island south of that little dock? Yeah. There's a deep spot that... I was, I mean, a bunch of us were together and we caught dimes there. And in the process, we caught a ton of gold. See that deep water right to the west of that island? To the west of the island, that deep west water right there. That's the east. Go, go west. Right here? Right there. Yep. Put a mark right there. That's where a bunch of us caught uh, red nosed dimes. Hmm. And in the process, a ton of gold. Fine then. Let's do all the things you want to do. I'm, look, I'm just trying to help. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm quoting Dumb and Dumber, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what time is it in your server? 1230. Got a diamond yesterday on eight marshmallow. Very nice. Or was it a red breast or a canary? Fishing, I'll join you. Um, yeah, I don't think I'll be night fishing this stream. I've got about 20 minutes left. At some point, I do need to target the eel, though. There's there's a diamond eel spot, right? You just passed it, as a matter of fact. I just caught a pretty good size one there, and so did Mix earlier. During the day or at night? Uh, it was right at dusk, I believe, going into night.
I'm already getting a bite on eggs. Six eggs? Mm-hmm. Are you 75 feet to eight? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. 75.6 feet is where I was just now. Not a very big one, though. Don't feel like it, anyways. Of course, I do have heavier gear now. The last time I was trying to catch him, I had light, <laughs> pretty light gear. Yep, it's a red nose. Savvy. Silver. See. Time for you to catch a diamond now. You're fishing beside me. Hey, that's the right temperature. And you're fishing beside me. <laughs> yeah, red nose is where I'm at. This is where a red nose diamond can be caught. And there's where the one of the location challenges for the red. Anyway. Right that boat yeah, that right. dock. Right, well, it's right off the dock anyways, but yeah. You got a fish on? Because I see one swimming around. No, I don't have one on. That's a red nose that just swam by me, I think. Thought it might have been on your line or something. You were reeling it in. Nope. Not yet. They hate me. Well, I mean, you are going for the gold challenge, so they're probably all hiding right now. That is true. Maybe I should stop tracking it. <laughs> Bay, I'm back. Just got 1,000 rip and GRR from watching all your guides. Sweet. Hope you gave it a like. Congrats, man. Good deal. I see one swimming around. I mean, what are you doing swimming up here? You're supposed to be a bottom feeder. Nope, oh, another bite. I saw a nice one swimming up at the surface. Now this one's a little bigger. Cast out in the deep for a diamond. Yeah, I'm at 71 feet. Yeah, that's it's. I think that's about the deepest. It's just under 80 feet, something like that. Yeah, I'm in the deep water, bud. So... Definitely in the deep water. Well, I'm literally sitting exactly where I was casting the direction I was when I got my dime over here. And you're casting straight at that spot too, so. I haven't gotten a single dime though, or a single bite yet. Yeah, I know. I'm... Something about that challenge, man. Another silver. It'll be fun, they said. <laughs> Come fish for red nose. It'll be fun. <laughs> your last 20 minutes of your stream. Yeah. Bite. Ah, this one's a little bigger. You'll catch fish, they said. Yeah. Glad you're having fun catching all those fish over there, Dad. <laughs> using the same bait that I'm using. Yeah, you're probably casting right next to me, too. That's what I mean. There's just something strange about them challenges, man. Like your percentages get turned down or something for gold. for gold I just want a bronze to buy <laughs> I got three silvers no gold yet up by the dock from you cast out from there in the deep right that's where the challenge is I 
I mean, Dad's right here beside me catching them left and right. So. Yeah, I promise you they're here. I just can't promise you're going to get a gold. <laughs> there was like five of us over here the other night. And we, uh, we right now, you can't promise them. that I'm going to get a bronze. I haven't even got a nibble. Yeah. <laughs> you haven't even got a nibble? Nothing. They don't exist here for me. That's crazy. Uh-oh, nibble. First psychology, baby. There. Here we go. That wasn't Mike playing a joke on you? Not this You're time. Striking up. Not <laughs> this time. Throw on an eight cheese. Nah, I'm not going to throw on anything that cart bites. With the three pound line. We got the catfish over here. That's one of your pain in the butt fish in this area. Yeah, I, the reason I'm using eggs is because it eliminates those troublesome fish. If I were using bigger gear, then I wouldn't care to experiment around with some of these baits because I'd be like, I'll catch whatever bites. But I'm on three pound line, so I gotta, <laughs> yeah, gotta be I gotta be careful what I hook into here. Give me thirty minutes to get this thing reeled in, and we'll be good. Another silk. Yeah. This one's also. This one's going to be around that size. What that you just got? It might be three. <laughs> it might be three pounds. <laughs> that was the smallest silver I've caught so far, I believe. Toxify Gaming, thank you so much for doing that karate in the garage. Yeah, 2.92. Is that the Africa map pole? No. This is the Citro Del Rey. Yeah, the Spain. This one's this one's the one that you get. Uh, you have to have 500 rep on Spain, and it's out of. Ah! Oh no, Mac! Oh. Oh, dude. He timed that so perfectly because I had just gotten a nibble. Oh, no. I had just, that was the best one ever. <laughs> best one ever. Oh. It had just dinged. And now I've scared that fish away because I jerked. And that was your goal. <laughs> yeah. That was cruel, Mike. <laughs> he redeemed uh, G-Man over on Twitch. I have a sound alert that is the strike sound when you get a bite. <laughs> Mike can't stop laughing. <laughs> and so I had gotten the nibble. So I was already expecting the bite. And then Mike did the sound, the strike sound, like I got a bite. And I jerked and I scared the fish off. I've been sitting here patiently waiting for her. Uh, that was perfect. <laughs> Sorry, question mark. <laughs> yeah. 
uh, apology question mark i can hear the regret in your voice yes i can feel it uh okay someone else uh i want thank you for all your videos i'm watching the videos for all the location of golden ridge reserve to get to 1000 rep keep up the great work thank you so much nick Appreciate the kind words, bud. I shared a couple of your guides to my brother because he was complaining about the missions being hard, but he said your guides made them easier. Thank you so much, bae. Look here, I see them swimming around right now. I just did that to myself. They're Watch everywhere. Me. Look at this. All they're... Yeah. Let's go down and bite my stuff. That did not sound PG at all. Go bite my bait, please. <laughs> yeah, it did look like a purple, didn't it? It might have been a purple labelle. I got those all over hit this area, too. J-Man, just let me have my midlife crisis, please. Would you just let me have it? Rock Chalk, let me pretend it's a red nose, okay? Mike, I do feel a little bad. I didn't hear the ding until Ooh. after. That's what I'm saying. There was an incredible amount of luck with that sound alert, Mike, because there's no way you heard the ding before you hit the sound alert because, you know, it takes five or six seconds. There's a little delay there. And as soon as it dinged, it wasn't a half second later, the strike sound happened. So I was like, Ugh, jerking the pole. So you got very lucky on that one. You got very lucky. That was best time one I've ever seen. Yeah, that was the best, best one that's ever got me to date so far. Uh-oh. You didn't see that, did you? No, what happened? Did you get a diamond? Yep. And you got kicked? I might have. I don't know. I got a diamond now. Oh, see, everybody's kicked. Spot. Either I got kicked, I, I got kicked then probably because it showed everybody left. You know, I'm going to stream marker that because that was that was pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, that was good timing there. <laughs> what is that thing that just jumped out? It was water? cruel. What kind of fish is time. that? That must be a smallmouth yellowfish or a largemouth one. What is this fish right here? Oh, I'm taking my screenshot. It's a smallmouth or a largemouth yellowfish, I think. Yeah, it's probably a smallmouth. They got a lot of those over here. G-Man says it was a 10 fabled, 10 fabled <laughs> piebald red nose labeo. <laughs> Look here at Dale Boy putting in the hard work. You know, he was his eye was twitching as he deleted his own name a bunch of times on those leaderboards. I've noticed the servers reset a lot recently. Uh-oh, I'm finally getting another bite. Mike, don't do it. Please. Watch for the yellow strike. Watch. There it is. Okay. This is a real bite. Whew. Oh, wait a second. You just got no. spooled, Barry. Did you lose that diamond, Dad? No, no, I didn't lose that diamond, but I'm just realizing that might be. I caught one that was 7.82. Yeah. And it was 0 0.08 off the record. Yeah. This one's 7.91, which is 0 0.01 above the record. Oh, nice. I swear it is. That's why I'm, I'm thinking, sitting here running through my mind. I was like, wait, that's the one that was close. Let me. That might be a record. Nice. I have to check and see. If this is the right fish, I think it might be too. Yeah, it's got to be because that's the one I caught going for the eel challenge. The gold eel challenge I caught that big dime. Did you get the screenshots, both of them? Yeah, I just took, I, that's what happened when we crashed. I was doing that. Did you get the recent catches one too? Yeah. All right, good deal. Yeah, it's got, I got four silver, then the diamond. 
Man. Ooh, I gotta do a location thing too, Don. That was the most perfect timed fake strike ever. I don't I don't know that, that you was could, so messed up. I don't though. I don't know that you can beat that one. And the luck, the amount of luck involved with that one. That the, the only thing that you could do probably is if you could catch like the first nibble and it nibbles twice. If you could catch the first nibble and hear that and hit it and then hope the delay happens enough to where it does it right after the second nibble. <laughs> Mike says he's going to retire. Yeah, right. Retire until you get another thousand points. Dude. There's a silver red nose Labeo 3.48. Where do they go gold? Oh gosh, I don't know. Four pounds where they go gold. Okay. Let's see. Uh, You still there? Yeah. Sorry, I was reading oh. some. I was reading no, some no, text I, messages. I, I, We're uh, fixing okay. some wings for the game, and I was saying, like we, I don't know if you guys ever go to Lowe's, like where the barbecue section is for Lowe's, but Lowe's actually has like this uh, dry rub that's called bone sucking sauce. And it's really good on steak and chicken and pork. And uh, it's not real spicy. It's just got a really good flavor to it. And we like to put uh, garlic salt and that dry rub on it. But also for wings, garlic salt and then just regular old pepper is, is good on wings as well. So I was just suggesting that maybe we do like half and half or something. Sounds good. I guess I should leave now if I need to be there on time for dinner. You know what? I'm going to go over here and try this spot where James Pay is because I had some luck catching them over there the other day. I'm pretty sure you can catch a diamond over there too. And it's not as deep. So I don't have to wait as long on it to sink. Oh, we just sink back up. I guess we're in the same server still.
Yeah, just had us all enter the same. Well, on my screen, anyways. We're all in the same server again. G man, what should I fish for? Um, red nose label roach. <laughs> Garlic butter wings are bomb. My favorite, and I remember, I don't really like spicy stuff, but there's something about it, like the Chipotle dry rub at um, B-dubs. It's supposed to be kind of kind of hot, like midways. But it's like for me with dry rubs, after you get past the first one, it doesn't keep getting hotter like a liquid does. Like a liquid sauce. The liquid sauce keeps getting hotter and hotter. I don't even care if we're talking about mild. For me, that's the way it works. Every mild that I eat, it just keeps intensifying. But it's like with the Chipotle dry rub, I ate that first one and it's got a little kick to it. But after I ate that first one, I'm good for the rest of them. I'm free fishing now. No more challenges tonight. I wish I could do that. I'm at 860 rep. I got to get it done. Roach. Okay. Red nose labeo it is. <laughs> Why'd you ask me? <laughs> Liquid. Sources because of the oil, the heat stays in the oil. Oh, nice, Barry. Getting all scientific on us here. I didn't know that. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, shoot. Well, what else, what else bites on an egg out here? The purple. Well, one of the two then. Is that it? This thing's big. Uh, I think so in that area. Unless it unless eggs are on the catfish list somewhere. They might be. Or the eel. Uh, let's see. Eel. Catfish bite eggs. No. What do I I thought there was something I could put on that would eliminate them. Eggs. Yeah, eggs is on catfish. Oh, man. Dad, I don't think this is that big, though. Uh, is Dad's no, a psycho a PC or a console player? He is console. Huh. Is there any bait that I can use that eliminates something? But corn is... Uh, Corn is pretty universal for a lot of these. Corn, it, it's a red nose. I got I, I, it's a red nose. Corn um, is um, cart though. Oh no, it's purple. Dang it! Yeah, the purple get a little bit bigger. So you're saying regular corn? No, the mirror cart bites the corn. Can't do corn. Yeah, but I think there's other stuff that bites the corn, too. Um, Cheese eggs. Yeah. Uh, well, it looks like eel only does the artificial corn. I'm not seeing the regular corn on their list. Yeah, it looks like same thing with the uh, catfish it's they only go after the artificial I'm not seeing regular corn on their list I've been safe with corn
I just assumed they did because they had artificial on their list. I didn't. But. Oh, I see that they, the cart, buy corn. There it is. Yeah, but I, I can't remember if I got any uh, carp over here. The only thing that might would be the yellow fish because they're in this river. I'd have to look at them and see. Well, I'm, go I'm going to try it one time. But it don't matter. The purple labaya is going to. Well, the largemouth yellow definitely eat corn. And, well, the small smallmouth doesn't. I mean, you might be safe with corn. Can't hurt to try. Yeah, I'm getting a bite already. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Carp. Right off the bat. Poor catfish. I, man, I just... I don't think I've ever caught a carp over here. I'm not saying they're not here. No, this is... Do catfish bite corn? Because this is something huge. Yeah, I believe they do. Oh, or no, the, that's the artificial corn one. That's what it was. Whatever this is, is huge. Yeah, it doesn't have regular corn. Gee, man, it, you don't know that. I know that whatever this is, is huge. Look at how crazy it's going. There's no way this is any type of labeo here. Hey, well... I doubt it's a largemouth yellowfish. Yep, I'm done good. with corn. <laughs> Go back to eggs. Yes. Yep, snapped you. Oh, yeah. Spooled me. No, a dime red nose wouldn't have took it out like that. That was a huge fish. That was probably a catfish. Yeah, I just caught a silver eel on the six uh, eggs. Yeah, I got to use the eggs here in this location to keep that from happening. Now, I'm going to be catching a lot of um, um, Allen. Huh? I'm going to be catching a lot of purple Labeo, too, probably. You know what I've not done this whole time? Oh, my God. And there was a moggle. I didn't pick any yeah, challenges. Yeah, all your up. dailies. Yeah, I didn't pick any up. That's why I was over there fishing for those with my dailies. Yeah, pick them up now. Now that it's too late. Alan just got a dime labeo. Nice. Uh, who is Alan and where did he catch that at? Bricky's Dock. Beside you. <laughs> I'm totally, oh, I totally not going to go over there to where you guys are right now. Did you see the goal I just caught? Yeah. Oh my god. Look what I've done. Oh yeah, he bottomed out. That's real shallow through there. I did the same thing. Didn't realize it until I was stuck like you. You might be able to cast from the shore of that island to get where we were. No. Ramp. It's not that far from the shore. How much longer are you going to be in here fishing? I was going to say, you could have hopped in my boat and I could have pulled you over there. Oh, well, here, let's do that. I'll fast travel back to that boat. Did I already? Right, I'll pick you up. Never mind. I already summoned this boat like an idiot. Oh. 
You know, I'm not going to be fishing much longer anyway. I've been mean, it's two hours. I'm going to be fishing like five minutes, but it's going to be the most exciting five minutes of my life. <laughs> Which is sad if that turns out to be the case. Oh. Yeah, you might want to rethink some things if that's the case. Yeah. <laughs> over some life decisions. <laughs> I'm still laughing about Mike and that noise on you at that time. And then I don't know if you were on Twitch or wherever chat, whatever chat it was. He types can't stop laughing, but one word at a time. <laughs> As soon as he typed the word can't, I knew that he was going to say stop laughing before he even typed it. Oh, Pain Break says I do have the record. I just don't have it posted in the right location. Huh. G-Man with the gold red nose LeBay. Oh, I hope everybody's having fun. Their gold nose. How big was that one? 4.01. Okay, but well, it gives me hope. go getting a bite i'm either getting a bite or getting mocked it's turned out to be a bite G-Man, first cast here, I completed the mission, not to brag. <laughs> I'm so happy for you right now. <laughs> Look here at Steph. Here's a gold for you. Here's a dime for you. Here's a gold for you. Here's a bronze for you, Darth. Is there 81 different fish in this game? Oh, good lord. I didn't know there were 81 different fish in this game. Wait a minute, that don't sound right. What's the, who has the most? GRR should have the most, huh? There's like 20 something on that. No, there's not 81.
There's 16 on here. Well, shoot, if there's only four maps, if there was 20 per map, that'd be 80, and we don't have that many. Times five. Jerry Collis, I don't know if you were in here or not, but we've changed it to where you can only have one fish per species now on the top five. So your name, like, you can't have, like, let's say largemouth bass, for example. Uh, you can't have your name and on that five times now. You only get it once. That way it gives five different people a chance to be on each fish. That's a rule that we changed today. We did a vote on it earlier. So now you're only going to see your name once on per fish it's going to make life a lot easier on the editors and give more people a chance to have their name on the leaderboard per map so, like, you can have a large mouth on Spain. You can have a large mouth on um, GRR. But then there will be four other people on there with you. 71 fish. Is there a fish that's on all four maps? There's not, is there? Mmm. No. I don't believe so. Uh oh. First I'm getting a bite. That's what I gotta do. I just gotta tab out. There's pack on three. Yeah. Seventy four G R R sixty four. No, Barry, there's only there's sixteen fish on South Africa. You see what I'm saying? Not eighty eight. Fifty seventy one. Eighteen on Norway. Yeah. Sixteen, sixteen, eighteen, and twenty one is seventy one. Sixteen on Africa, yeah. Twenty one. I knew GRR was the only one that hit twenty. Hello. How do you say wheelbarrow? Wheelbarrow? <laughs> <laughs> Condi Fix, thanks for playing that Bro Bra Evil Laugh. That is the amount of challenges per map. Yeah, the, yeah, that does sound like the challenges numbers. 88 on here, right? Oh, there was 88 challenges? Wow. Yeah. We're talking about our top five leaderboard berry corns and how many different fish there are on it. Red nose labeo, 0.75 off from that one. 
Oh, they so they do go gold right at four. Yeah. Final cast. Looks like I got a small silver. Jerry call us, uh, just, uh, um, I, if you look at the, I already typed it in the, uh, top five submissions, um, cause you're one of our editors, um, the top five leaderboard I put in there. If you go to the top five leaderboard. So it says this is the leaderboard for Dark Sloan's community. We're accepting only fish caught in 2024. In the top five submissions channel below, you may enter one submission per species with the harvest screen recent catch screen to show the date. Please check to see that it's bigger than any of the other current top five before submitting. Thanks and have fun. And we need to know what map you've caught it on. Make sure your new fish is bigger than the others. You only get one fish per species to make it more fair to the others. <clears throat> I don't know if Kane Brake is still in here, if he can hear me or not, but if you could check and make sure I posted that in the correct spot, I'd appreciate that. Tackle World, 88 wasn't enough challenges, needed more. <laughs> How's it going, bud? <laughs> What do I use on Red Nose la uh, Label Challenge 1? Oh, uh, Bottom Fader. Bottom Fader. Eggs is what I use. Number six eggs. Hey, got the gold. But basically, what you're and what Dale Boy did is he went ahead and deleted any. Um, he kept each person's biggest fish on the list and deleted the smaller ones, so that now on the top five leaderboard, you're just going to see each person once per fish. So that's already been done. Dale Boy's already took care of that. So just going forward. If someone submits something and you go and look and they've already got one in the top five and it's bigger than their other one that's in there, just remember that they're only allowed to be on it once. So just change the number, keep their name on there, and then adjust whether they moved up to first or second or third or fourth or fifth or whatever. Yep, this will be the Game last break. fish. Were you talking to me, man? This is Dad's a cycle. I don't know if you uh, heard what I asked you earlier. If you could check and see if I posted that in the correct location, I really would appreciate that. Nice, Dale boy. You the man, bud. Going forward, Jerry, this should make it a lot easier because... People now won't be submitting a bunch of fish. They'll only be submitting the ones that are bigger than the one that they've already got submitted in there. If it's not bigger than the one they've already submitted in there, then they there's no point in submitting it. You know what I mean? a silver oh no all right man i didn't complete one challenge not one 
man, these were tough ones. But that's part of it when you get down to the tough ones. All right, who are we raiding? We are raiding. Uh, anybody fishing? We could raid the Viking Menace. He's fishing. The Viking Menace. Probably not PG. Viewer discretion is advised. You all have an awesome evening. And I'll be on at 8 a.m. in the morning for our normal Sunday morning stream. So we'll see you guys in the morning. You guys have an awesome right. evening. I'm going to go watch some NCAA basketball. You guys have All a right, good we'll see you later. Bye, everybody. <laughs>